Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGM007, and today we're looking at the Scoreboard Plus Plus plugin. Now, as the name would suggest, this plugin allows you to make a custom scoreboard with ease. It's really easy to do, it's free to download, and it's just a really awesome plugin. So, I've demonstrated this on the right. Um, by default, it looks like this. Uh, I've tweaked it a little. But as you can see, up at the top, you can change the server name. You can have maybe coins, ranks, money, how many people are online, say what the RAM is, uh, show your website, show your YouTube channel, show your TeamSpeak server. You can show so many different things and change the format codes and colors and jazz it up a little. So if we go ahead and do forward slash scoreboard and then reload, what that will do is reload any of the changes you've made and it will show in chat um, that we've done it and it's changed the bottom part from servermine.com to kills and we have zero kills because I'm the only one on the server. So that's how you change it in game. Uh, there's a couple of other features such as the tab section which I'll bring up now and in chat it will display a few messages when people join and leave which you can customize. So let's go ahead and check out the config file. So here we are in the server minor file manager and if we go into translations we can see the language file in here is the only one english.yml and you could change any of these uh, different messages in here you can change the prefix uh, but you really don't want to be messing around with it or you could translate it into a completely different language if you really wanted to uh, but the best thing is to not mess around with it and look at the main file. So if we go back and then go into config.yml, in here we can see all of the things we can change. So up at the top you can obviously change the scoreboard title to your actual server name and enable the sidebar. And then we have all the parameters. So I mentioned before that it hooks into other plugins so you can get even more parameters. Uh, but if you don't do that you can use these. Then we have the different lines, so these are the ones that we have in game that you saw, so rank, coins, online, team speak, kills, and when it's in those um, sort of sideways triangles, I forgot what they're called, that is the placeholder and that will grab how many kills you have, how many deaths you have, or you can simply write some text. So if you want to create a new line you can just copy and paste from the previous ones, add some cool colour codes and then put whatever the placeholder is, so deaths, that will show how many times I've died. Obviously you can add as many different colour codes, format codes and all that good stuff as you want, make it look really awesome, um, and you can just change it up completely, you don't even have to use these um, parameters, you could just have a big wall of text um, advertising various things if you wanted to. Then we have the reloads, so when it will reload the scoreboard, so when you join, when you die, um, and whether it happens to the whole server. Then at the bottom we have the tab list, so we have what the header and footer looks like. Um, so we're gonna change this to server minor, like so. And obviously this plugin is made by Cerberus, as it says there. Then we have the groups, so it will be in a certain order. Obviously the higher groups get used first, um, and you could just add whichever group you wanted here. So most servers have default admin and owner, but you could add, I don't know, moderator or uh, donators, whichever ones you want. And finally, down at the bottom, we have the join and leave messages, uh, which you can see. You might have noticed that in game, but they are pretty hard to see, but they look pretty good anyway. So let's go ahead and go back in game and see what the new scoreboard looks like. So here we are back in game and as you can see the scoreboard looks very good with the kills and deaths on the side. Um, so that is the whole plugin, it's really fantastic, very easy to use. I know some of these scoreboard plugins can be a bit complicated sometimes, but if you want to download it there'll be a link in the description. If you need a server to host it on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. And I think that is it, so subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next week.